Hello, we have been playing with the Opus Quad from Pioneer DJ this week because we're filming a free video tutorial and online training manual for this, which is going to be on our Digital DJ Tips uh, YouTube channel very soon. And one of the things that's blown me away about playing with this is that it gives you, we've counted them, we're being a little bit cheeky here, but I'll tell you why in a minute. It gives you 12 ways of playing music, 12 totally different ways of playing music. Long gone are the days of just plugging in a USB in order to get standalone DJ gear to work. Way, way long gone. So today I'm gonna to count through those 12 ways with you. As always, this is a live show, which means at the end you can ask questions about this or anything you want. I'm here for about three quarters of an hour. We do it every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, but to let people watching live on Facebook, YouTube and Twitch settle down, see that the broadcast is there, click on their notifications and watch. We're gonna play our usual 30 second intro now. So I'll see you in 30 seconds time. Okay, so this has blown us away because of just the number of different ways that you can connect. And this is really useful if you are someone who thinks it's a bit lame, just having to, you know, you're preparing your music, buying new music, and you just wanna play, you wanna have a quick DJ with it, but you can't because you've got to export it to a USB drive, unplug the USB drive, head away from your laptop, plug it into here, turn it on, blah, blah, blah. You know, we're all getting a short attention span nowadays. It goes much further than that, but that's the big one, that you don't need to do that at all anymore. So I'm gonna to talk to you today about the different ways that you can do this. Now, uh, the first way is the way I just said. So on this unit, as on all standalone units from all manufacturers, you can plug in a USB, I've got one plugged in here, and then your music will show on your unit. And that is how you DJ. So it works that way, it still works that way, same way that any standalone equipment from anyone does. All the Pioneer DJ equipment, Pioneer DJ's Pro equipment, well, that's the wrong picture. Uh, Pioneer DJ's Pro equipment works that way, you plug a USB into it, it works. Uh, and as does all the Den and DJ and Newmark Mix Stream and all that kind of stuff, it all has that. That's the classic way of doing this. By the way, you can also plug in SSD drives, for instance, uh, to work here. This has actually got three USBs on this particular unit. So around the back here, we get USBs as well. You can see there's a USB there by that finger, that one there, uh, which is uh, as well as the two that you get on the top of the unit. So you can plug lots of different stuff in uh, to DJ off USB. That's the first way, right? Standard stuff. The second way is something called Link. Now Link is something that has been on Pioneer DJ gear for a long, long time, and it's actually pretty cool, but it is mega, mega cool on this. So using an ethernet cable, again, around the back of here, you can see I've got an ethernet cable plugged in here, and having a computer that is also on ethernet, they call it Pro DJ Link, but ethernet is basically what it is, then you don't actually need to export to USB drive at all because the two are on a network together and you use something called Link. So this is Link, this is record box open on my computer. You see this link at the bottom here? If I click on there, it now sees what's going on down here. Forget this other device thing, it's because I'm doing lots of things, which I'm gonna be talking to you about in a minute. Uh, it sees this stuff and it's available to you now on the computer. So I can now DJ from this collection on my computer on the unit here directly. So I don't need to plug in a USB drive to do that. I press my source menu there and I can see available to me on the screen here is my MacBook Pro. I can link into that and it'll show me all the music on my MacBook Pro here in a second. And so that's another cool way of getting to your music using, uh, using the computer that you're using. But you're not DJing from the computer, you're just accessing the library. Now it gets even cooler because that computer there doesn't have to be on the internet. As, as a, uh, by that I mean etherneted up to the internet. It doesn't have to be plugged in directly to the internet because it's got Wi-Fi. So as long as I'm in a Wi-Fi environment and this one is on 
Ethernet than this one is because around the back of it, I'm plugged in there. Uh, so this is on Ethernet. The computer itself doesn't actually have to be. That could just be Wi-Fi into the same network. So there's another way there. You have your, your main unit on your, uh, on your Ethernet and the other unit on Wi-Fi. So that's three ways you can do it. Uh, this can be useful when you're DJing at a club or a venue where their gear is all etherneted up and they've also got Wi-Fi for, for the DJs, not for everyone, because then it would be probably a bit unreliable. You can just turn up your laptop, plonk it down, DJ. Don't have to get cables and stuff. A third way, which is only possible on this, because it's the first, well, from Pioneer DJ, it's only possible on this, because it's the only Pioneer DJ unit that has this, apart from its pro DJ gear, is... You can use straight Wi-Fi. Now, I don't even I don't even know if it works with straight Wi-Fi on that gear. I'm pretty sure it would, but on this one, I know it does. So in other words, I can unplug that Ethernet cable from the back there. Bang, it's gone. No Ethernet now on this unit. This is now purely connected to the Wi-Fi. And as long as I've got Wi-Fi selected in my settings on the unit here, I'm into my network settings here and into my Wi-Fi settings. As long as I'm on the Wi-Fi, I'm on Digital DJ Tips Wi-Fi here. As long as this is on the Wi-Fi, and this is on the Wi-Fi, I can access the library on here in this unit here. And I don't need to even have any Ethernet, any Pro DJ link, anything. So this can be excellent. This is way number four, just fully Wi-Fi. This can be excellent if you are at home, you use this unit at home. Spoiler alert, people, a lot of DJs are buying this just to have the most cool looking DJ setup at home. Absolute spoiler alert. As long as you're using this at home, then you could have, for instance, this in your living room and your laptop could be in your home office or on your lap or out on the patio or in your bedroom, sat on your lap when you're lying in bed, browsing new music or whatever. You could just DJ from this unit here with your laptop in another room entirely and it would just all connect on Wi-Fi and you're accessing your laptop. No need to go through the lameness of exporting to USB drive. As you can probably tell, I hate exporting to USB drive, hate it. So another way that you can do, if you are a subscriber to Rekordbox, which is Pioneer DJ software platform, uh, you can use their cloud service. Now their cloud service lets you put your whole music library in the cloud. There's loads of advantages to that. You can prepare your music on their, on their app, their Rekordbox app. You can use your, um, you can use your laptop to kind of uh, work on your music, cue points and loops and playlists here, but you can also do it at work on your work computer and it all syncs up. It's pretty cool the way it works. But what is really cool, and again, this is also on their Pro DJ gear, but it's also on this unit here. What's really cool then is that in your, uh, in your source, you can also see cloud. So here is cloud. This is my my cloud. So it's now connected to my cloud and I'm accessing music here, which is in my cloud. This is music that's uploaded to my cloud, all my music collection. And this is coming directly. You can see it's taking a little time to load because it's getting it off the internet for me here and now. This is my whole music collection in the cloud. So what this means is that you've got all your music available to you when you're DJing somewhere on the Opus Quad, as long as they're on the internet, and it works just like that. Now, the way it works, by the way, is that you do still need a USB, but you put onto the USB a special key. This kind of unlocks the cloud when you plug it in, so you don't need a username and password. You put your key on your USB, it unlocks the cloud. I didn't like that at first. I thought, well, what's the point? But actually, I actually think it's a really good idea. And the reason I think this is a good idea is that you probably don't want to be DJing from the cloud using this all the time if you can help it. There's certain things it doesn't have. Filter. Filter is a really powerful part of the way this works. It filters through all your music to find the stuff that's in the similar key, a similar BPM and stuff. It doesn't work straight from the cloud. And other things as well, just other little things. Track search doesn't work. You can't quickly jump backwards and forwards through your playlists and stuff. So I think having this is a good way of having a backup. So basically you would export to USB if you're gonna go and DJ in a club on one of these or in a bar or something or take it with you to DJ a wedding or a mobile gig. You plug your USB in or your SSD and DJ locally with your music. And then someone says, can you play this for me? And you're like, oh, I've got it at home. I haven't put it on my USB. Bang, one button, one click on here. You simply go to your sources, you log into your cloud and you find the track that you're missing and you play it and then you go back to DJing off your off your main USB. I think that's a really good way of doing it. Use cloud backup as a kind of just in case. So that's our fifth way, cloud backup. Uh, a sixth way of DJing, we're talking about ways of DJing with the Opus Quad by the way today and the reason we're doing it is that I'm in the middle of making a free 
to everyone training tutorial and video manual on this, which is going to go on the internet in a, well, probably in a week or two when it's all finished and ready. We've already done them for things like the, the um, Pioneers range, the XDJXZ and the RX3 and the CDJ um, 3000s. We've also done it for Den and DJ's Prime Go and Den and DJ's Prime 4 uh, and a few other bits of really popular kit as well. We kind of do these on our YouTube channel. It's a nice freebie for everyone. See, it's not all about buying courses for us. Oh, by the way, don't buy any of our courses. Do not buy any digital DJ tips courses. Don't buy them. You've heard it here first, and I'll tell you why at the end of this video. Seriously, put your money away. Seriously, I'll tell you why at the end of this lesson. Right, okay, back to this. So, number five of 12 ways uh, of, use, of connecting music and getting it playing on an Opus Quad is cloud backup. It's awesome. I love it. Of course, you need to be committed because there's a, there's a subscription, uh, but that's all to talk about another time. Uh, if you've got it, it works and it works really well. So number six, I haven't got enough fingers when I'm holding my phone. Uh, using record box on your phone. If you've got a phone and you have got the record box app and you want to use record box on your phone with this unit, you can. So number six, wiring it in, just getting your charging cable, plugging it in there, plugging it into the top of your unit here, and then bang, you're off, you're good to go. You can play music in the same way that you play it directly from your computer here in link mode, you can play it in record box mode. That's actually why this is saying other devices because I've got my, uh, I've got my phone connected to it there. Um, and so this is great because it lets you, for instance, on the way to a club or the way to a gig, you can be downloading music, you can be making playlists, adding cues and stuff, and you can play directly from a library on your phone. You have the same library synced on your phone that you've got synced at home if you want. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, I, I envisage a time pretty soon where DJs will turn up and they won't even bother with the USB. They'll just plug their phone in and DJ straight from their phone. I'm sure there's already DJs doing it. Why bother? Why bother with the USB? You can have all your music on your phone. Uh, it's a good app. I like it. Uh, again, we're not talking about the record box app here. So number six, take your charging cable, plug it in. Number seven, again, using your phone. Don't worry with the cable. No point. Wi-Fi, as long as there's a Wi-Fi network that this is connected to, you can connect to the same network on here. This is gonna be more useful at home where you just wanna quickly buy some tunes or you bought some tunes at work and you wanna quickly DJ with them. Just get home, bang, you're off. Put your phone down, DJ with those tunes. No need to start getting them into your library properly and sorting them all out and adding them to playlists. You're excited, you've got some new tunes. You can DJ instantly from your phone. So uh, numbers six and seven in our 12 ways of DJing with the Opus Quad, uh, uh, that uh, move on from the lame way, I think, of using a USB, uh, are wired and wireless with your record box for phone, record box for iOS and Android app. So sticking with phone, number eight, it's probably the bane of DJ's lives, but shh, you can do it. Bluetooth. This unit will let you Bluetooth into, I think it's channels three and four. Let's have a little look if it's just channels three and four. Uh, it is definitely channels three and four. So you can see here, if I press uh, deck four, you can see we've got Bluetooth here as one of our inputs on deck four. And that means that we can switch to Bluetooth here and log in, find the Bluetooth on the Opus on our phone and play directly from the phone. If there's a single track you want to play, don't tell your audience you can do this, of course, or they'll all be coming up to you saying, you play this, but you can. So if you just want to quickly play something, we've all been there, we need to play a track, we haven't subscribed to Rekordbox Cloud or anything. With this unit, you can Bluetooth in and play tracks off there. That's number eight. So number nine, you can DJ directly from your DJ software in exactly the same way that you DJ with any DJ controller. In other words, you can DJ as if this is one big and admittedly very expensive DJ controller. In other words, you are controlling this version of Rekordbox where you've got all this stuff going on. Now, in order to do that, you need to plug in via a USB cable around the back of the unit. So that's what this one here is for. This USB-C is for plugging in uh, to your computer. And that way you're literally DJing as you would with any other DJ controller. Uh, so uh, way number uh, nine is DJing with record box this way. And method number 10, which was only added recently, but it's a very, very cool addition. You can also DJ with Serato that way. So if you're a Serato user, you can plug it directly into the Opus Quad and DJ with Serato that way. We've already covered 10 ways that you can DJ with this unit. And we've still got two more to go, maybe three more to go. I've just added another one. Uh, so the other ways are these. 
the reason I've just added another one is I just kind of realized there are extras. Uh, so way number 11 is with CDs because around the back of the unit you can plug in uh, two external sources. So we'll, let's just say CDs. Uh, so you can plug in CD players of any type or any other source that you want. Got any of these knocking around, you can plug these in and play directly from these uh, by plugging them into the two sets of RCA sockets around the back. Uh, and you can also, and this is number 12, plug in turntables because it will also use turntables. You just saw that on there. So on these sets of inputs here, you see we've got line and phono uh, and Bluetooth on these two decks here. Line, phono, and Bluetooth. These two here I don't think have, no, they don't have that. So that's 12. Now I kind of said I'm being a bit cheeky here because um, I originally said there's 12 in total. I've got one left. So I've got a bonus one. And this is the one I want to see Pioneer DJ add to this unit. They're going to have to. I'm going to put my cards on the table and say I think they will. But they haven't announced it yet. I don't think it's imminent. I had a student asking about it just today. And that is something that you can already do on the Pro DJ gear, which is log in to an actual streaming service. Look, it's got Wi-Fi. It's got the internet. It's got the technology and the power inside to do it. Give us streaming on this Pioneer DJ. We want streaming. You know, this unit here is being bought by mobile DJs, high-end mobile DJs who want to really look nice and also hobby DJs uh, who've got the money to spend on really, really nice gear who might use this as much in their homes as they do anywhere else. And being able to log into your favourite streaming service has got to be a kind of given, but you can't yet. So come on, Pioneer DJ, we want to see that and we want to see it sooner rather than later. Now, there's one thing that I really, I mean, we are, as I say, we're making a training tutorial now about this. It's going to be about two hours long. I mean, I'm trying to keep it short. I think maybe I might, I might get away with an hour and a half, but it's going to be no, no shorter than that. I've literally gone through every single setting, every single knob, every single button, every single control, everything the screens do, every, every button, everything on the back of it, everything on the front of it. I've literally gone through everything. So if you're buying one of these and you're really looking forward to getting it, or you've got one and you're like, it's a bit more, it's a bit more, uh, difficult than I thought it would be, you're going to love this tutorial. I think we've had about 700,000 views on our XDJ XZ one. Uh, people do love these tutorials. So I'm in the middle of doing that now. So that's why I'm kind of like really into all this stuff and seeing the pros and cons. Uh, this isn't meant to be a review, but I will say the one thing I really think that, that is, uh, I, I wish they'd added to this, I can see why they haven't, is that you can't plug these kind of decks in using Pro DJ Link, which is uh, going to give you the use of the screens and all that. They've just, I think, decided that no, this unit here is to be used on its own. We don't want people plugging in extra decks and stuff and then having to network it all together like you can with our pro, pro, pro gear for the clubs. Just a decision they've made. So there's no pro, pro DJ link to other decks. You'd need to get the XDJ XZ for that. But this is, to me, better than the XDJ XZ in nearly every other way. Right, okay. That is... Um, it's blown my mind. I've loved it. I've really loved making the, the first half hour or so of this tutorial where literally all we've done is gone through showing you how to DJ in 12 different ways with this thing. It's, it's mind blowing. Really cool. Right. That's the kind of stuff I've prepared for you today. Now, I did say we're going to go over to what you've got to ask about anything. I'm going to spend, we've got 45 minutes together. So I've got about another 25 minutes with you guys. Uh, very happy to just chat DJing with you. Uh, I accidentally switched to our uh, chat bot, didn't I? Uh, is this, uh, this channel here that shows me all the incoming chat uh, is coming in from you guys and girls. Uh, so here it is. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about, obviously. So I'll get to that in a minute. But I did say, do not buy our courses. So let's do that again. Let's, let's, let's start from the beginning with this one. It's important. Do not buy our DJ courses. And that's from me, Phil Morse, at the top here at Digital DJ Tips. Do not spend a penny on Digital DJ Tips' 27 world-beating DJ courses. Do not buy the course from Jazzy Jeff. Do not buy the courses from James Hype. Do not buy the courses from Layback Luke, from DJ Angelo, from me, from Steve, from anyone. Why? Because on Tuesday, our Black Friday sale launches. And that's when you can get up to 45% off every single DJ course that we sell, including our brand new and hugely popular acapellas and stems mixing course. Do not buy our courses until that Black Friday sale launches on Tuesday. And then go for it. Stack up your courses for the year because you will never see them at a lower price. Uh, 
And with our courses, you buy them once, they're yours forever, including all future upgrades. Start them when you want, finish them when you want. We are always here to help you with them whenever you choose to dive into them. So there you go. There's our public service announcement. Okay, uh, let's now move on and chat to you guys and girls about what you've got to say uh, about either the Opus Quad or anything else. So I've got all the comments here, as I said, so let's take a little peek at what is, uh, what is floating your boat, what is on your mind. Hello all the regulars, Catherine, Cat's Groove, Mike, Don, Mixmaster G, etc., etc. Mixmaster G saying, I love, I love the Opus Quad too. Uh, right, uh, so this is from, let's move this in here. It's nice. It's nicer, I'm not twisting my back. This is from Dwelt Music. I use the XZ, XZ, and I love standalone. I don't need to bring gear to a venue anymore. I just need my backpack with the essentials. Renting gear and plugging in makes it easy. I love it, so you rent an XZ or an XZ and you plug in. Uh, so this is for Mixmaster G. Actually, it's a very good piece of advice here, and we have indeed covered this in the tutorial, Mixmaster G. It's important for the Opus Quad to have the correct version of Rekordbox 6 and to enable it to export for the quad. It's not the same as it is for CDJs, and that is absolutely correct. It's also a little bit annoying, I would say, uh, because, hey, why would you want to worry about whether you've got the right library set up? Uh, but nonetheless, that is true. So you need to, when you are messing uh, around with your new Opus Quad and you're installing your new, uh, your, your new software, you need to make sure you've got it set to go to the correct library. Uh, and it's called a, I think it's called the Library Plus. Uh, and that's a setting inside the, uh, inside the software. I was looking for it there so I could show it to you, but uh, I haven't got it. Uh, haven't got uh, the, the, the brains to think about where it is in the software and to talk to you about it. So anyway, trust me, it's there and it's in the tutorial. Right, okay, what else are you saying about the Opus Quad? Uh, I wish they'd kept it rectangular, said you don't like my music. You know, I, I have to say, I absolutely love the look and feel of this. The main gear is rectangular. The pro gear is rectangular. I think they're definitely trying to do something different here and I really like it. I just think they're going for a new audience and I think that's a, that's a cool thing. I can see why some people are not going to find this to be to their taste, but that's not me. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, right, so uh, let's see what else we said you're saying about this on the chat. Hello everyone on YouTube, Facebook and Twitch, by the way. Uh, Sono Distorto on uh, Twitch. Hello, my friend. Uh, that unit seems very thick, says Harmonic Boost also on Twitch. Is it heavy? Is it bulky? Yes, it is quite heavy and bulky. Uh, it's definitely one of the bigger DJ units out there. Uh, I think the quad is made to be future-proof, says Stan on YouTube. I think you're probably right there. Um, go with Ethernet over Wi-Fi if you can. There's less chance of problems. Of course there is, but uh, if you're DJing at home and you can't be bothered with all the cabling, hey, you're DJing at home, who cares? Uh, even over Wi-Fi, it's still using Pro DJ Link. The connection is just different from Ethernet to Wi-Fi. Yes, that's very true. Thanks for clarifying that. Uh, it is still Pro DJ Link, whether you've got one on Ethernet and the other one on Wi-Fi or the other way Round or both on Ethernet or both on Wi-Fi, it's still linking in to your copy of Rekordbox exactly in the same way. Uh, so, oh, this is awesome. There's so much tech chat going on in, literally in the chat about this unit. I do love our community. You are, you're the right kind of geeks, I have to say. So Tim says, I came from the Denon DJ SC5000 uh, and to the Opus Quad. I love it. It looks and feels great, but I really miss the streaming. I do hope it comes soon because sometimes it's just so easy to have. I agree completely. It's just so easy to have streaming there. Uh, Bluetooth looks nice, says Loritis over on Facebook. Hello to Craig on Facebook, by the way. Uh, I'm tempted to go standalone, says you don't like my music. It would make my mobile gigs so much easier. I, I love it, but I think the flexibility is the thing here. The flexibility is great. 12 different ways you can play. So it's, it is standalone, but it's everything else as well. Uh, so whatever is floating your boat, whatever mood you're in at any time, or whatever stage you're in and you're DJing, the, the unit can kind of work for you that way. Uh, so this is from Stan. Does anyone know if they fixed some of the build issues? Cases coming apart and jog wheels being unlined. Uh, I don't know because nothing's gone wrong with ours. So if anyone's got any uh, feedback on the way their unit has lasted, please let us know. I mean, generally, I think this stuff is uh, is pretty reliable, but hey, obviously not for everyone. Uh, so Nuno PMT. Hi, Phil. I recently started DJing in a venue with the XDJ RX2. 
Uh, for record box in the jog wheel display, is there a way of setting the start of the song or any other cue point to 12 o'clock like in the DVS system? I don't know. Maybe someone can help Nuno over on our Facebook chat there with that question. Uh, Stan uh, is getting help from Mixmaster G. Thank you very much, much Mixmaster G for helping Stan out. Uh, talking about controllers and saying if you want just a standard controller uh, for Recordbox, the Flex 10 is a good option. The Opus Quad, uh, on the other hand, is a good choice if you want to go standalone and also use it in the living room, keeping your partner happy. I think that is part of it, you know? This is a really good looking unit. At least I think it is. This is something I'd be proud to have in the living room, whereas normal DJ gear, I'd be kind of a bit embarrassed to have this set up in the living room. It'd be like, well, why is it set up there? What club have you brought that in from? It just kind of doesn't look, look, doesn't look in place, I think, in a domestic environment. This does, but at the same time, this doesn't look out of place if you're DJing a, a really cool wedding or whatever. It's kind of got the vibe that says, you know, professional. Uh, so I, I like this. A lot of people don't, you know, we're, our tastes are all different, but I think it looks nice. Uh, so what else are you saying about the Opus Quad? Uh, this is from Henmere. Hi, Phil. Thank you for covering this. I've had my Opus for over a month and I love it. I started with a DDJ 400 and I started to outgrow it. I'll definitely consider the course. It's not even a course. It's free. It's going to be a free two hour tutorial on this. It's going to be on YouTube. You can just watch it. Uh, it's going to have a whole long, long, long list of what's in it. So you can just click to the thing you need help with. Totally free. You won't need to buy anything. However, let me do tell you about something that we do have, which uh, especially with our sale coming up, if you're serious about uh, being a pioneer DJ, DJ, uh, you're going to want to know about. It. So let me tell you about this now. So head over to Digital DJ Tips. Do not buy our courses. Wait for a week. Uh, head over to Digital DJ Tips and scroll down uh, to our software courses. And you'll see this one here, Recordbox 6 Made Easy. This is the complete guide to Recordbox 6. Recordbox 6 is unique in that it's software that you can use for all kinds of things, not just straight controller DJing, because as we've already seen, you can use it to control, or to, to as a big library really, in export mode, uh, for to standalone gear. Everything from this kind of gear, all the way to this kind of gear, all the way to Pioneer DJ's um, XDJ RX3, very, very popular controller and so on. You can also use Recordbox for video, for visuals, for lyrics, for, uh, for controlling your lights. Uh, you can use it for uh, edits. It's got an edit suite, so you can literally go in and change your tracks up and edit them and then play the re-edits and so on. It's got stems. It's got all kinds of extra stuff in it. So it's a lot more. And of course, we've already said it's got mobile uh, compatibility as well with iOS and Android, so you can use it in the cloud. It's No other DJ software comes close in the amount of things it can do. And so it's a lot to learn, <laughs> an awful lot to learn. So if you are a Pioneer DJ equipment user, everything from the lowly little Flex 4 all the way up to this kind of gear, it really does pay to learn your software because when you learn your software, you're a better DJ. You can do more things. Your, your mind is expanded and you'll become a better DJ without playing a single tune. You don't need to get any better at mixing. You don't need to get any better at finding great music. You don't need to get any better at performing. You'll become a hugely better DJ just by learning your software. It's a bit of a no-brainer, right? So do take a look at that course. Don't buy it now. Wait till next Tuesday um, in order to find out uh, all the things Recordbox can do uh, and uh, hopefully get them learned. Right, let's go back to your comments. We've got another, another 10 minutes or so together here, if needed. Uh, so let's talk about this stuff. Uh, Bogdan says, hey, Phil, is it important to practice on full-size jog wheels like the Opus Quad if you want to play in clubs or smaller size jog wheels like the RX3 is that also fine absolutely fine to practice on the RX3 don't worry about that uh, hi Phil says Sony man do you know Serato has an app so you can arrange your music from your phone through an app no it doesn't they've all always messed around with apps so they've not made one in years and years and years so no is the answer to that uh, this is from Henmere. Yes, Pioneer has supposedly fixed any, any issues with hardware. Uh, I got a refurbished one and it had a jog wheel issue, but it's, uh, it's all good now. So glad to hear about that. Uh, right, cool. If you have YouTube Premium, says the Ruckus, you won't get annoyed by the adverts when you're watching Phil's amazing two-hour tutorials. You know what, people? The more you say things like that, and the more uh, a day gets closer, which I am already envisaging. And the way I like to think about things is I envisage them and then they happen. Uh, and one of the things I want is for these two hour tutorials, these big video tutorials, we do, we've got like 10 of them now, to be elsewhere. 
not to just be on YouTube. I don't want to pay, I don't need to pay for them. Let me tell you how it works here at Digital DJ Tips. We're a DJ school, right? You know we're a DJ school. We've got 27 DJ courses. We wrote the book on how to DJ, right? That's what we do. That's how we earn our money. 100% of our income comes from you, apart from like pennies dribbling in from YouTube and Amazon and stuff. But that's not where it all comes from. It comes from you. It doesn't come from the manufacturers. It doesn't come from people paying us to say their gear is great. I've not been given a penny for Pioneer DJ to be doing any of this. I'm doing it because I think it's something you guys want to know. Uh, the way we get our money is from you, right? And so that's what we do. We're a DJ school. We sell DJ courses. We want you to learn to DJ with us. But our courses get you an outcome. Our courses get you, wow, I couldn't do that and now I can. You know, I couldn't DJ, now I can DJ. I couldn't scratch, now I can scratch. I didn't have a business, now I've got a mobile DJ business. Hey, I've just produced my first song and it's on Beatport. I couldn't do that until I took that Digital DJ Tips course. And all the other things we teach, making mixtapes, etc., etc., etc. They all get you a big outcome you change, you become something you weren't before. You remember that. We always remember great teachers, don't we? I bet you can remember your best teacher from school. And so that's what our courses do. That's what we want you to pay for. We don't want you to pay for someone telling you what every knob and button on this thing does or how to use the different things in the shortcut menu on here. You know, this is all amazing stuff. And honestly, the manual is rubbish. <laughs> Good luck if you want to go and learn it from the manual. We don't want you to pay us for that because that's not gonna change your life. You're just gonna know what the knobs and buttons do. Yes, it'll make you a better DJ when you apply it with the stuff that we do charge for, right? The real creative stuff. So we don't want you to pay for that. And that's why we give this stuff away for free. We'd much rather you learn about the way we teach, how I teach, how the team works, the support you get through free stuff. And then when you're ready, Go grab the complete DJ course because you want to learn everything about how DJing is done today. Go get, grab the scratch course because you want to learn to scratch on your Opus Quad or whatever it is you own. Or grab our mobile DJ course because you know you want a mobile DJ business. Or learn to produce with our dance music formula course, etc., etc., etc. That's the time we want you to give us your money. So I just thought I'd let you know how that works because we, we talk about that sometimes. With the sale coming up, maybe a good time uh, to do that. Uh, right, I think we're probably done here. Um, so what else have we got? Mixmaster G says, you can always turn monetization off in YouTube. It's what I do in my app related tutorials. Yeah, but don't, don't the adverts still come on if you're a free YouTube user? I don't know, I'll leave that to my team. Anyway, uh, we will have a day soon. That's what I was talking to you about. We will, we will have a day soon um, when I have uh, a page. Well, there's already a page on, the inter on, on our, on our um, website. I'll show it to you. So if you go to the Digital DJ Tips website, uh, and you go to uh, the new navigation, actually, it's just been added uh, in the last couple of days. At the top of the site, you have this navigation here, right? If you go to videos, we've already got a kind of Netflix style, this is every video that we make here, uh, which is awesome, by the way, if you've got like six weeks to kill, uh, just go and watch every video you see on here. We've made quite a few of them, people. Uh, and these go through to pages which are much better than YouTube in themselves. So you'll find the YouTube video there uh, that you've clicked on, but you'll also find an article and further information and comments and stuff. So it's a much better way to watch our videos than on YouTube already. But ultimately, when you click on that button, you're going to watch the YouTube video. I want this to be our video with no anything on it that isn't the video, right? I want it to be a version just for you guys and girls. So mark my words, it's coming. We're working on it. Uh, so today we've talked about the 12 ways and one way I wish they would implement that you can play music on the Opus Quad. It's an awesome piece of DJ gear. It's not for everyone. The styling is not for everyone. And some of the features they've missed off are not going to be to the taste of professional DJs. But I think this is a home run for Pioneer DJ. I really like this unit. We're excited to bring you our uh, video manual and training tutorial, which will be out in a week or two when we finish making it. We're in the middle of making it now, which is why I've got this set up in the studio. Uh, so do keep an eye out on YouTube for that. It'll be like a two hour free tutorial. Uh, meanwhile, don't buy our DJ courses. Head over to digitaldjtips.com now and go to the courses page. If you would like to look at our courses, there are 27 of them. We've got James Hype, we've got Layback Loop, DJ Angelo, ourselves. Courses on everything from scratching to to mixing, from setting up a mobile DJ business to making your own music. We've got the lot, but we don't want you to buy them now because starting next Tuesday or this coming Tuesday, everything is going to be up to 45% off. You'll get huge savings. Pile them up. Buy them all at that, at that price. They will never be offered too cheap and no sale will have them cheaper until next year's Black Friday sale. So pile up a year's worth of training, buy it all cheap and then start it when you're ready. We'll always be there for you to help you whenever you want to start. And it's yours for life. 
including all future updates. When you get to that course, it will be the latest version of it as if you'd bought it right there and then. So no reason not to pile up on your courses as soon as the Black Friday sale opens. People, I'll be back next Tuesday when we will have launched our Black Friday sale. So guess what? I'll probably tell you about it again, but more importantly, we'll have something else. We'll have another tutorial, another topic to talk to you about in the world of DJing. Thank you for joining in today. If you're one of the people who's joined in, if you're watching the recording, then if you click the notifications in the platform you're watching on, we can let you know when we go live and you can join us live next time. Meanwhile, for me in the studio here with the Opus Quad, uh, get good, get out there, make the moments, and we'll see you again very soon. Till next time, bye-bye.